Welcome everybody to a new series of tutorials, this time on Beatmaker 3, a fantastic music uh, production app for your iPad. I just launched Beatmaker 3. Uh, this is the welcome screen. This is where you can create a new session or project, also open a new session. You can access your quick start guide, look at previous uh, sessions, this is your sound store where you can buy packs and recommend it to a friend. So let's click a new session. It loads in this view um, where you can see 16 pads here for the first track, a one track. It allows you, for example, to select banks, show you what the banks is. For example, if you click on that for and you click on load bank, you load the drum kit and associate each sound to each pad. OK. So here you have the ability, for example, to create another track, B1, and in the, for example, we can load the sample. So if we click on B1.1 for that particular part, we addition a sample here. And then we can say load sample. It will load that sample into that particular part. You have um, other option, for example, you can click again another track, go in plugins, and load and for example um, a, a UV free plugin like in this case ISIM. And you can use the pad as uh, a keyboard. And you can enable disable keys, select uh, different keys, enable work with scenes, mute and solo, change octave etc etc. Um, and you can go back and see this different session or project that you previously created. So uh, you can create a new session from here, save and export, etc, etc. So let's come out from clicking on the X for this from this view. So if we want to go back to that view, you click here on the menu. Here we are. And then you can click on uh, the X to come out of, from it. So let's go through a little bit additional setting here is where if you click on here, it's where you give you the option to play song, stop a track and create a pattern as well. Let's click on that again. To come out from that, if you click just on C1 there, it enables you to select the different tracks, like so. You have the bars here, the bits including the bars, your tempo, uh, your metronome, quantization um, settings, uh, automation setting, your transport control for stop, play, record, uh, for example, activating the looping, undo, reduce setting, save settings. Here, under this particular view, which is the pod view, you can have setting for velocity, rolls, very interesting. <laughs> setting for wheels, scales, chords as well. Remember, every time you see three dots, if you click on that, you have additional options that you can set. In this case, particularly, they are in relation to the bank, so they are context sensitive. Okay, let's move to the next view which is the sampler view. We have selected that particular uh, sample and you can see the waveform of the sample here. You have setting for the channel, for uh, the sample itself, including layers, volume, choke group, etc., etc. Here you can manipulate your sample, lot of functionality. You can layer effects, modulations, map into keyboard and load additional plugins. Next, we have a, a sequencer view. This is where you see your song being created. These are all your track tracks, including the um, effects auxiliary one and two tracks in your main output track. You can add additional track, create a new bank, create a new uh, audio track, a new auxiliary tracks, etc. You can zoom in and out based on what you have selected. You can set uh, settings for bars and the grade itself. You can play in different ways. You can set a mute and solo, it's an arm for recording, lots and lots of functionality. You can maximize the view, clicking on that. You can say follow as you are playing. You can also select scenes. This is where you, rec you have different scenes for different loops, which will be associated to your patterns. You can also create different patterns. If you've done so, they will appear here. Next, let's go to the mixer. This is your mixer section. This is where you can look at each track, set your volumes, your pan, send uh, one and send two for effects, mute and solo, show the pads, etc. A lot of functionality. And next, what I want to show you is the performance view. You click on this. 
in this case is we have that uh, sample which has been loaded and uh, you can see the same uh, some of the option related to performing with a sample but um, I can click on here then click on there again um, uh, actually sorry let, let's come out from uh, uh, the uh, the uh, performance view let's go to ISIM there let's go to performance view again here you see the AUV3 um, um, screens for ISIM and, and again it will change the performance view based on what you have selected on the track you have you can add MIDI effects again for the particular track and just click on that select your MIDI effect you can add audio effects again selecting there and also you can establish macro very powerful in ISIM so let's disable that and let's go back to the sequence of view what I want to show you is a previous songs that I recorded so I can show you also additional things from a user interface point of view so let's go to the um, menu option here and then let's go to session and let's load the dance beat session and click load the session it will say I will lose uh, all everything in my previous session I click OK as you can see this is a song or a session I previously created it uses a number of AUV frames Synthronic, Grease Maker, again Citronic, Cauldron and also Model 15 for bases um, and and so on and so forth so for example for Ruiz Maker if I select the track um, using Ruiz Maker from a drum perspective and also if I was to click now on the audio effect related to Ruiz Maker track I can see I applied the reverb and dynamics effect as well so let's go back to the sequence of view you can uh, use your fingers to pinch in like so and increase um, zoom in inside your track and different patterns as you can see you put different patterns to compose and your song select on a pattern you can have different options which come up at so the bottom here you can double click on it and it goes to the pattern view okay and very interesting and um, let, yeah let's go back to the song let's for example select syntronic let's choose that particular pattern double click on it and you can see it goes inside that pattern and um, as it is in AUV3 it shows you the piano roll in this particular case which you can also disable like so clicking on this icon and you can also gain more real estate if you're doing work enabling disabling here now <clears throat> let's go back to song and uh, if I click on here as you have this active one um, this active song or session you can see it shows you also the different patterns as I mentioned earlier, this is a view where it allowed you to play songs, stop, trackable, to create pattern. And in this case, you can see two patterns which have previously uh, been recorded. So let's click on this to come out from this. Again, let's click on the minus uh, sign to zoom out. If you select a particular uh, pattern in a track and I click plus, it zoom to the particular pattern. So, <clears throat> Let me show you what uh, you can do. So in this particular case, uh, um, I used this AUV3 here, and I'll play a little bit of song so, um, so you can hear uh, the composition made with Beatmaker 3 and uh, a number of AUV3 plugins.
as you can hear, you can create fantastic composition. And this is a fantastic music production app for your iPad. I hope you enjoyed. We go through in more details in the next video. It was just a getting started video. See you next time. Bye.